Hey, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to look at how you can make most out of the Partsify analytics and make sense of the data from the report. So the first thing that you will see when you land on Partsify is your dashboard where you see a glimpse of your chatbot performance, how many messages has been responded by your chatbot, how many customer hours it has saved so far, every chat time, and also how many hours it has saved for your team members. You also see a graph at the bottom where you see uh, how many users are interacting with your chatbot every day for the past uh, uh, 14 days or past 30 days. Now if you go to the left hand side and you choose the chatbot analytics, that will open up a dedicated area where you see all the reports of Partsify chatbot. So the first thing that you see is the uh, button statistics. So buttons and so button analytics are basically what buttons are being clicked in your chatbot and uh, for which media block are being clicked. So that, this gives you a very good idea of uh, what are your most converting call to action. You can also filter out this report based on the date filter. The second report we have is the complete report. A complete report basically is the summary of all other reports in our system. It gives you the total messages, total um, um, messages sent, total messages received, and it also tells you what are the uh, hours of the day that uh, your chatbot is most active on, and also what messages are most frequent on your chatbot. So basically, uh, in short, this is the summary of your complete chatbot. If we go to bot versus human analytics, that what you'll see here is the number of chats that are handled completely by the chatbot and number of messages that are served by the chatbot all alone. For this chatbot, you can see that none of the conversation required the human intervention, but at any point if your agent reply your user, this will be marked as the chats handled by human because those are the conversation that required human intervention. So basically this gives you an overall view of the automation, how many conversations your chatbot is able to handle all alone versus required human intervention. The next report we already see in the complete report is basically where you see uh, how many messages and what messages are being um, received by the chatbot, what questions are being asked and it gives you a very good idea what is the most popular question on your chatbot people are asking. The next report we have is the date time distribution. So you can see the uh, distribution by hours of the day or also you can choose the day from the top right uh, to see the distribution by days of the week. So you will see that what days of the week are most active. In the user statistics or basically user platform statistics what we can see is we can see what operating systems and what devices are being used by our users to access our chatbot. The data export uh, option is very popular where you can choose the date range and choose uh, to export the data for a particular time period and that gives you a CSV which you can uh, insert into your desired um, analytical solution to get most out of the data. Then we have the page messaging report. We'll come to that later when we cover the page messaging um, in the later videos. But let's uh, move to the analytic platform integration. So uh, Partsify itself, as you already know, that it's a chatbot platform, which helps you make your chatbot better and, and deal with the natural language processing and all. So there are specialized platforms like dashboard.io and Chatbase, which are just specific for the chatbot analytics. Think of them as the Google Analytics for chatbots. So once you sign up on these platforms, these platforms will give you uh, API keys, which you can simply put here and Partsify will start sharing your chatbot data with these platforms and you will be able to see much, much more detailed analytics and reporting 
in these platforms.